There's no corner table in this beautifully designed space inside Kiefer's. We'll visit with Glenn Kiefer for the backstory. It's great to go to a new restaurant that really offers what the customers want, and it's a creative restaurant. It's friends of mine. I'm here today with my old friend Glenn Kiefer at Kiefer's Restaurant. And tell me a little bit about how you decided to build this place, because it's sort of an interesting story. A kid that was working on a fishing boat now owns a restaurant. Well, I, I came to Chicago with the Palm Restaurant in 1980 and started there as a bartender. I uh, worked as a manager with the Palm for about 12 years. Um, joined Ruth Chris in 92, opened the Chicago restaurant as a general manager. And so you know a little bit about steak? We know we have a lot of steak background, which is why we decided to focus on steak. Um, in 1994 or so, we went over one night to have dinner at Kiki's Bistro uh, with my six, then six-year-old daughter who ordered a great big pile of Palm Frites from John Hogan. I didn't know John at the time, but we tried to get a little ketchup for my daughter and was told by the server that they didn't carry ketchup. So I sent a note back to the kitchen and said, come on, I'm in the business, can you help me get some ketchup for my daughter? That's the only way she'll eat the fries. I get a note back from John, sorry, no ketchup. I sent another note back, what do you recommend for a six-year-old? He sends a note back and says, expensive red Bordeaux. So I said, I gotta got meet this guy. What's, who is this guy, what does he drink? He drinks Heineken. So I go in the kitchen with a Heineken, who's John Hogan? He says, that'd be me. And that's where I met him. And I thought that if I ever had the opportunity this great chance, thanks to our partners, Jimmy DeCastro and Larry Ward, my brother Rich, to open a restaurant of our own, I would do what I, we know best, which is steak, and we were lucky enough to get John, who could do virtually anything. Well, John can virtually do anything, and we, we not only have ketchup here at this restaurant, but we have chocolate milk, too. You have some comfortable items on the menu, and these are really here. I didn't put them out there. Um, you have, we'll talk about the main menu, but and what's on the table. I mean, you have a casual menu here, too. We the have a bistro menu, which uh, was John's idea to refer to it as that and not bar food because it's not a pejorative kind of a heading. It's something that a regular guest might want to come in and have an item from in lieu of a $50, you know, entree. It, it, and the, the items on there are basically they uh, range burgers, from, uh, little small steaks. Steak. Okay. Uh, we, we run the um, seafood pot pie, which is a great item with shrimp and lobster various seafood items and a saffron broth with a puff pastry top. Very good. Okay. Let's talk about my favorite steak, just about all Chicago. Talk about this in the sauce. Delmonico or ribeye. It's also known as a beauty steak. Uh, we serve it with a choice of sauces. Um, I, uh, personally, I don't think it needs any. The beauty of a, a, a ribeye steak is it has a lot of marbling and that's where the flavor comes from. We don't use the F word. We don't say fat. Okay. Um, I think the word marbling has been thrown around a little too much, but, F. <laughs> but we, try, we try and give the, the, the guest a choice. From the loin end, right next to where the uh, New York strips come from, they're very lean, and they can be firmer in, in, in nature. Well, from the up other front. end, up by the shoulder, from the chuck end, they have a lot more marbling, and they eat sweeter and a little more tender. I think it's the best tasting steak. This is a fine dining restaurant. Um, and we're going to go watch Hogan uh, make a Dover sole, which you serve table side. 